Hey guys, so today we're testing the RAM on this M1 Mac Mini. As you see here, I'm using Big Sur, Apple M1 chip, Mac Mini. We'll restart it so we can get an accurate test for this. We're really gonna challenge the RAM with a lot of multitasking here. So the RAM is the memory that your computer has to basically multitask things, something some more simple like web-based stuff, some things are more heavy like video editing. We'll start with everyday things and then we'll push it um, just to see how far we can get. We can challenge the RAM of this Mac mini. Let's go. We're gonna start with web browsing, which is very common. Um, let's go to Apple. And here's the, uh, the memory pressure. So far, no swap is used. Only 4.5 gigabytes being used. We'll do New York Times. Open another tab. Why don't we watch a video at the same time? Let's watch Watch Bands Playlist. All right, very old video there. We started another window here. Another tab there. Another tab. So far, 5.89 gigabytes of memory. The app store here, fantastical. All right, that's downloading in the background. Let's open more tabs. Download's done. We're at 6.16 gigabytes memory. Let's see how many tabs do we have open? 12, 13, 14. Let's open more Apple tabs. We're at 6.21 gigabytes of memory. Barely any swap. Still light memory pressure. Let's keep going. And we have two videos open here. Let's check to see if they're all actually loaded. Pretty much all loaded, yep. There's, there's that one. So now we're at 6.69 gigabytes, 1.8 gigabytes swap used, compress 1.95 gigabytes. Let's keep going. Let's open more tabs. Okay, so let's see how many tabs we have open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 41 tabs open with three of those in their separate windows for Safari. Let's open Firefox. This Firefox is not optimized for M1 yet, so we don't know if that drains the RAM even more. Let's find out. So now we're using 2.51 gigabytes of swap. So this Mac mini only has eight gigabytes of memory. Yeah, that's why it's spilling over right now. Let's see if it's still performing well. Let's try to load some pages. So my location, it's not the fastest, but so to me, it's still performing quite normally. That's loaded, that's loaded. Firefox, we have 12 tabs open, two videos playing in the background. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 39 Safari windows open. Then we still have the app store open. Um, let's go ahead and open other apps. Let's open the music app. It's spilling over to 3.37 gigabytes. Let's keep challenging it. Let's just push it all the way. Let's see how many tabs we can open on Safari. You see the RAM's actually spilling over. That's four gigabytes of that SSD we're using in this Mac mini. Let's keep going. Um, let's go ahead and try a different website, New York Times. All right, using a lot of memory now. So let's see how fast it'll load a new window. It's still loading normal speed for me. 
almost six gigabytes of swap now. Looks like my videos are still playing pretty smoothly. It is auto playing at 360p, which is way below even standard definition. <laughs> Let's keep pushing it. I think we're starting to see it slow down. It's taking quite a while for those images to pop up. Yeah, it looks like it's still, um, so I'm already using more swap than I am my own memory of RAM. Oops. And we have Apple Music open. Let's open Pages. Oh, that one reloaded. This one reloaded. Yeah, as you can see, the memory pressure is uh, finally going, getting pretty bad. It's in the red. I don't think it's remembering all of the tabs. This one's just blank. <laughs> um, yeah, it's having to reload all of the tabs. Yeah, memory pressure is pretty bad now, and I think my mouse is no, okay. Yeah, my mouse is acting up now. Yeah, my mouse is really acting up. I'm trying to move it. Let's, uh, let's keep going anyway, let's see. Um, I think this might be the end of it. Things are starting to act up. Um, I would hate to destroy the computer. Let's at least count the tabs. Let's see. So we have a total of 84 web pages open in tabs and separate windows and two videos playing, two other apps open, App Store and Pages, as well as music, so that's three other apps open. It reloads the pages, so memory pressure gets harder. We're definitely using more memory than we have in this computer. So it's spilling over onto the SSD. So we have eight gigabytes of memory here. Uh, we have 256 gigabytes of storage here, flash storage SSD. We're back in the green because we basically stopped. I stopped clicking at things, but the more you click at things and load, we can conclude that it still performs really well. No one's really gonna have like this many tabs open. At least now we know it's still gonna perform well with web browsing. Let's see how it is with editing Final Cut Pro. Let's open my battery test video. Yeah, it's still playing smoothly. This project was only a 1080p project, um, but still playing smoothly for a bunch of, uh, bunch of tabs open here. Memory pressure is not too bad. Yeah, so looks like you can still edit while that's happening. So when I did that, we're in the orange. There's some background rendering happening. All right, so we'll conclude it here. I will quit everything. Here I am quitting all those tabs. <laughs> oh geez, that froze. Still trying to quit. I put Command Q and it's still trying to quit Safari. Um, let's close Firefox. Firefox closed immediately, but that only had like 15 tabs open. There it is, I'll conclude it here. Thanks so much for watching. Give this a like if it helped in some way or was interesting to you and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.